What is up, y'all? Hotato here, back with another one of damn power leveling episodes. Uh, what is it, 13 today? And today, oh yeah, Yang Mai, Director Zuri, Sartana, baby. Been looking forward to this day for a while. I know y'all been looking forward to it too. So let's get to it. Um, we're going to ascend all of them. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll have to go get some more food. Let's go. All right. Then we'll have to go get some more food. Let's go, Zuri. Dang, I need more darts. I need a little bit more darts. But, uh, because I have Akrog now, you know. And then Sartano. Gotta, gotta send both sides. Both sides. Oh, need more tabards too. Shit. Let's go. Let's go. And the costume. Hell yeah. All right. All right. I obviously have not much. I don't have much food left, but, uh, I'll go get some more food. And we will return to uh, level these kids up. All right, let's go. All right, T, we are back. Um, got the dough, a.k.a. the hams, the foods. Um, and let's go, uh, let's go feed some kids. We got, uh, I don't know how much food I have or how much feeders I have. That's the main issue is the feeders. Um, but, uh, you know. Hopefully we can make do with what we got. I'm going to probably start with the director. Um, shit, whoops. I didn't mean to just full pull. I wanted to see how much. So I have 347, 274. These guys are done. 204. And I got these kids in here, 438. So we got a decent amount of feeders, but I don't know if we'll have enough specifically for this video. We'll see if how far we can get. And again, we do have a bunch of coins free coins silver coins that uh i can pull from which may yield me some nice troops as well so let's get it um i kind of forget if i need to do well, who do i have i have red purple yellow okay well i want to see i kind of forgot how uh what's it called um kind of forgot about if it works well by feeding one stars to the to the final ascension um i want to give them all like kind of the same color since i can and i am going to start with sartana's costume because i find that one more valuable than her regular um i'm not too sure if i'll even give her emblems yet because quite frankly i don't really have that many emblems right i gave a bunch to glenda a bunch to kirill and a bunch to um Proteus. So I'm like, well, fuck. I'm out. But it's all good. It's all good because, you know, you know, the, um, what's it called? The, uh, um, because, uh, fucking get it out. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's go. Perp, 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 perp. All right. Because even at a max level four star or five star, they're still pretty dang good. And most likely, I'm going to be pairing this team up with someone like a Tibster or something um, so they can all fire at nine tiles. I don't have to worry too much about the troops at that point. Well, although, when it comes to rush attack, ho, 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 that'll be nice. Um, but, you know, that's what we do. We're going to see how it goes. Um, obviously, not... Uh, not really sure on its future, the future yet of my emblems, because I'm very, or historically, I've been very conservative with my emblems, and I just don't know who, what, where, how, when I want to give those emblems to, and because I'm very stingy with my emblems, I'm always like, okay, well, what if I give it to this person? When and if do I want to take it back, or... You know, at what point do I want to, like, reset? And, like, I have to consider all those things for me because I'm hella particular and I don't like backtracking. <laughs> you know, you feel? You know, I don't like going back in time. I'm being like, hey, got a lot of trainer heroes. I love that. Um, yeah, I don't want to go back in time and, like, have to use my reset tokens, have to use all my foods and shits. And not get as far because 
or like have to again backtrack because uh you know not particularly happy with the emblem situation that's why i like really take my time and emblem the people that i really know like need it or i really love or people i use often right so like i knew right off the bat for example like i'm gonna emblem grave kingston freya glenda you know magni even but for example with grizul i held off on her for forever same thing with clarissa held off on her for forever and like times change it's like i don't think i need 18 emblems on fucking Taluri anymore um but i might still need the emblems on liana and marjana for example because they're kind of underpowered now without a costume bonus so you know keeping just a few emblems on them like look liana's at plus 18 nodes and Magni's over here with 10 with the costume bonus, and they're pretty similar team power, but I honestly value Magni because of his defense down. Um, but, you know, Liana 1-2 punch with Kingston, baby. That's a, that's a fire lineup right there. But uh, let me know what you guys think about emblems and how you utilize them or how you divvy them up because, you know, as you know, I'm stingy with it. I kind of take my sweet-ass time try to make sure it's like oh is this the person i really want to give it to um if not why blah 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 right so okay we're running out of run it out uh who we gonna feed blue two stars <laughs> i love the costume though because they level up so fast they take a lot less food and it's really really rewarding to <laughs> to you know to get that at the end be like, bam! Let's go use some of these trainer heroes. Fuck it. Let's make some space. Ooh, level 16, baby! We love it. We love it. All right, once they get to a higher level, I'm going to start... Basically, once these... The one star start, stop producing so much value, I guess. Or any value, for that matter. Stop providing much value. I will start transitioning to my two stars down in my hero academy. And then if I do need to start pulling one stars... Oh, shit. I should be pulling from this guy on the right. Shit. Whoops. I've been pulling from uh, my TC-11s. Okay. Let's go perp. But, yeah. What do you guys think about emblems and how you choose to divvy them up? Because I want to hear some strategies from people now. More people. Because in the past, it used to be, oh, don't... Only, like... You know, choose your priority as, like, your defense heroes. But then I realized, someone made a comment somewhere, maybe on Reddit or something, is that all you do with your defense is let it sit there and look pretty. Like, you don't do anything with them. And so I was like, huh, good point. Because, like, I used to, I used to, like, all right, hey, you got an emblem, you know, in terms of priority, like, those are on your defense so that you could stay higher cups. But I realized, like, I mean, I mean, I might, at this point, like, for me, like, obviously my, my heroes on defense are holding me in diamond they're all obviously very well emblemed now and they're heroes that i would emblem regardless if they're on defense or not but right but there's always a but um whoops the the argument to that was well we have heroes that we use often not on defense and those are the ones you'll see the impact of emblems way more due to the fact that you're using them often. So, for example, that's why I uh, emblemed Grizul. That's why I emblemed Marjana. is because I'm clearly using them, or I was using them, all the time. And they're only graves on my defense. So, I was like, you know what? I think I'll start embleming them so I can start fighting stronger teams. That was my philosophy with uh, with embleming and 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 shits like that and so now i'm a little more conservative on my analysts because like okay well i don't need them on my defense anymore since i have a pretty solid defense that keeps me in diamond that i don't really have to worry about and even if i drop just below diamond i again i'll just raid my way up no big deal so what should uh what do you guys do what do y'all do you know for emblems um because now i think the you know, mentalities changed, philosophies have changed, and, um, you know, new insights and perspectives have now come out. What do you guys, what do you think? What do you think? You know, let me know. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about embleming 
heroes and the philosophy behind it and uh, where you choose to divvy up your your emblems seeing as uh, you know maybe you might not want it on defense anymore maybe you want it on you know the heroes that you take on a daily basis on raid or maybe you want to put it on you know the slow season or the slow heroes so they survive longer or you put it on only four stars now or um what is it uh or you put it on all uh or you actually change it up every single time right you're constantly moving things around and testing it out which uh you know it's kind of smart right kind of smart to uh to do that but um i do want to i do want to hear do want to hear what y'all have to say because uh, that might change how I emblem since I have a buttload of emblems on certain classes. I don't have a lot of emblems in general because your boy be starving over here for emblems, you know what I'm saying? Be a scarce world out here. Just trying to get some dough. Do you feel? Be difficult trying to get some... Alright, I'm only getting... Okay. I think I'm going to start feeding just the two the two stars. And try to get my progression way, way, way faster. But, but uh, actually, no, I'm going to finish off. Um, hold up. And, no, I'll give those to Zuri. Uh, I'm going to finish off my hero. What? Uh, my training camp. <laughs> I'm going to finish off my training camp over here. This dude, I only have 144, which is 12 divided by 12. Or just 12 times 12. I always remember that. That was like the biggest the biggest thing when I was a kid. It's like, what's 12 times 12? 144! Right? Everybody was on that. Like, that was a big thing to know. I, I forgot the term. It's like when you multiply something on itself. There's like a word for that. Also, we're going to start feeding Scarlet the one stars because, you know, we got to start leveling up uh, some of these kids here. Get them nice and juiced up especially because again she has the costume keep the costume bonus bam she'll fire in three ti uh, nine tiles or sorry six tiles during rush attack can't even speak anymore by the way it's fucking late it's like 2 a.m um so yeah but let's just keep feeding her the one stars until we have enough um two stars out yeah uh so yeah, once we have enough two stars out, we will, which we do. All right, fuck that. Let's go, let's go Yang Mai since she's kind of lacking over here. Slacking behind, bro. Yang Mai, hurry up. Catch up, bro. All right, we have a pretty substantial amount of food. I actually have tons of food. I got a bunch of, um, what's it called? A bunch of one of them's, uh, do these matter? Yeah, I'll just screw these guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a bunch of, what's it called, uh, food storage boxes. I actually kind of really like the fact that um, uh, they released the the food bundle boxes. I really enjoy that, having just those in the background instead of having to, uh, you know, go to the shop and using the overpriced gem refill, which I never do. And I highly suggest you non-whales out there never do it as well. Because that is just redonkulous. Never, ever, ever refill your meats using your gems in the shop. <laughs> ever. All right? I'm telling you now. Never fucking do it. Avoid it like the goddamn plague. Avoid it like someone that... Avoid it like you're someone who works in the ICU or the ER with COVID patients. All right? Avoid that. But, uh, yeah, yeah, let me know about emblems moving on. Um, honestly, about, I was, I was going to talk about the late night before I fucking forget. By the way, this is a thing that I do. I am very forgetful, like extraordinarily. You know what? Uh, let's go Sardana. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm digging the fact that I have Sartana costume, bro. This is so sick. I don't have a, uh. I don't have a purple sniper. Do I? No, Onyx does not count as a purple sniper. That guy is a fucking stud. That guy is on a level of his own. Yeah, I don't have a purple sniper. I have a sniper in every other color. Huh. 
Nice. Hell yeah. Let's go. We're going to get some... We're going to get some major progress. Three new heroes to add to the stack of, you know, fully leveled heroes specifically to add to the stack. This is going to be nice. I love it. But yeah, anyways, I'm super forgetful. And like the moment I like pass something in terms of my thought process, I'm like, I may forget it for the rest of eternity. It's just, uh, it's just how I operate, you know? Can't always be fucking machines over here, you know, remembering everything, every minute detail we might want to talk about or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's hard. It's hard to be, uh, it's hard to be on it all the time, which is fair. Speaking of being on it. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 I'll feed the uh, reds later when I have enough of them. Oh, I do have enough of them. Let's go! That's what's up. That's what's up. Let's go. Um, so anyways, on... Ooh, yes. Okay, now we can start collecting the two stars again. again. Man, can you guys add this in, please? A collect all. Like, come on. Just do it exactly like the fucking training game. Like, why is it... Like, what? It makes no sense. Just give us the option to just click, and then it automatically collects all. Like, why do you have to make it so difficult? Anyways, um, it's late, man, and I skip my sleep schedule. Sleep schedule? My sleep schedule's all fucked up, like super fucked up, right? And it's so annoying because I don't understand why it's like this. It's like, who did I piss off? Who did I piss off to give me this kind of treatment? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Right, I go to bed early. All right, this is what happened today. I go to bed early, like 9.30 or something. I'm like fucking tired, dead tired, right? I'm like falling asleep at 5 o'clock. I'm falling asleep at work, you know, restless sleep, blah, 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 blah. And then I go to sleep early thinking like, oh, it's cool. I'll sleep early. I'll eventually wake up early. No problem. No. <sighs> wake up at fucking midnight 30. Fucking midnight 30 because... So I get three hours of sleep and I obviously and I can't go back to sleep because that's basically like a super nap I just had. And, uh... Yeah, I'm like wide awake. I'm like super wired. But then the unfortunate part is like maybe give it another six, seven hours or so and I'm like, well, back to being absolutely dead tired, fatigued and all that shit. And, uh... Then I have to go back to work. You know, I go to work uh, and then I'm like, okay, well, I can't sleep now because I have this other... Uh, other problem of being able to wake up in time and waking up early because I am definitely not an early person. I mean, that's why most of the time I'm doing shit at night anyways. But, uh... Damn, it's so annoying. Whew, love to see these folks getting leveled up. Love it. Alright, let's go yellows for Zuri. Pretty stoked for Zuri too because I need... I need this nice healer that we have with plus minion maker, cleanser. It's going to be fucking litty. And so, like, I, I'm, like, dead tired at, like, say, for example, 6, 7 a.m. And then I got, uh, you know, I got to be up at work at 9 a.m., for example. And I'm, like, there's no way in hell I'm going to successfully be able to sleep for two hours and wake up in time for, like, my morning meeting or whatever the fuck is happening. I just know it. There's just no way. There's just no way. I can't do it. Because I'll just over I'll end up oversleeping and it'll be bad news bears and then they're just going to fire me cuz you'll be like, "Hey, yo, you got to you got to wake up." Be like, "Yo, I'm having a hard time. Cut me some slack." And like, I run into some crazy issues when I'm sleeping too. It's like reality start mixing and like real life starts implementing itself inside my dream you know it's like oh you have a 2 30 meeting and you know i'm asleep or like you have an early morning meeting and i'm like okay cool i gotta wake up for that and in my fucking dream i will have an alarm to wake up in my dream and so in my dream i'm actually going to my meeting but in reality right in real life conscious life i'm not even close to going to my meeting i'm just sound asleep looking all pretty sweating my ass off in bed trying to figure out what the fuck's going on 
And then I actually wake up and I'll be like, wait a second. I thought I just, and then by that time, it's like 30 minutes past my meeting and I'm fucked and everyone's yelling at me, right? So that's kind of the shit that happens <laughs> with your boy Hotato over here because, yeah, sleep is, sleep has never been, uh, sleep has never been my strong suit. Always, uh, how would you say, always uh, struggled with that. It's, it hasn't been fun. But it is what it is. You do what you must, and you live and you survive, and you go on with life. Um, damn, we're actually utilizing our food quite nicely. You know, everyone's pretty pretty close. I might even get to fully le leveling up Sartana. That would be the goal, but for sure, at minimum, I want her costume uh, fully leveled up. But, you know, we'll get there when we get there. Uh, let's see who's up. Let's go Yang Mai since you're trailing behind. Actually, I'll hold off. I'll hold off. I'll hold off. Let's go. No, nope, I'm going to be Yang Mai. I don't care. Yo, bow, 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 bow. Get the blues. Yes, sir. Um, let's go purples next. Bam, 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 bam. And then a few of these guys. Hell yeah. 20 more levels for Sartana, baby. Love it. Love it. We got 332 feeders in here. Oh my god, I think we're gonna have enough. I think we'll have enough feeders, and I think we're definitely gonna have enough food for sure. I have plenty of that shit. Um, let's see. So yeah, my sleep schedule's all fucked up. And that's just kind of the reality I've been living with for a very long time. Ever since I was a kid, I've always tried to stay up late. Um, never been able to wake up early regardless if, if I sleep early anyway. So it's like, why does it, why does it matter? Because I'm never able to, never able to wake up on time, I guess. Because, well, I can't. I'm just always fucking tired in the morning. One time, one of my jobs, they had me come in at 7 a.m. in the morning till 5 p.m. at night or in the evening. And, uh. I, I just told him, I was like, I'm not a morning person. Like, don't expect anything from me in the morning. And that's what I tell everyone now. Like, I'm just like, I'm not a morning person. Like, I will not. I am not good, right? I am not good in the morning. If you come try to talk to me, I will not be receptive. You know, I just don't care to talk to people in the morning. Because I don't care to be alive at that point. Like, fucking kill me now. Like, I shouldn't be conscious. <laughs> right? Shit like that. But, you know, what can you do? Making good progress. But, obviously, it slows down dramatically after, like, level 50 for the regular skins. Because, uh... Yeah... It'd be like that. And I don't have tons of trainer heroes, so I'm actually, now that I think about it, I might actually be a little bit, uh, I'll be a little concerned here. A little concerned. But whatever. Don't care. Oh, I also have costumes for Sartana, so at least she's super easy in that aspect because she's like, I mean, she's 14 levels out. Like, she's so, so far ahead because of the cost like you get more xp it costs less food like it's just glorious to level up a costume it's just so much easier like look 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 right sure gets a level let's go use any other costumes i have i don't really care who look she gets five levels from those costumes alone and then i have a bunch of per i'm gonna do it i don't care i don't care i don't have any of the costumes that i care to even use anyways fucking ugly ass renfeld Prissa, most hated hero, in my opinion. Let's see. Let's go one, two. Oh! Hell yeah, baby! Wait, can I limit break her? Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. You cannot. You cannot. <laughs> okay, well, now we have to level up her regular skin if we wanted to emblem her. If. Just an IF, right? We don't know yet. I'm not sure. Um... We'll have to play around to see if she's worth the emblems because, uh, you know, let, here, look, look, look. I don't have that many. I only have 393 wizard emblems, and I'm debating if I want to put the, the mana node on Glenda 
so that I can get her to fire in nine tiles? Or do I just wait and level up my troops to level 23? Right? It's just like all this shit, this, this planning and all that stuff that I don't really... <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. We, uh... We'll, uh... I guess we'll figure that out on the way. Maybe some of y'all can give me some some pointers on uh, how I should approach this. I don't know, man. So, let's see. Let's see. Right? So, I do... F 10 two stars and I only get two levels now and it costs 90 grand of food? Fuck. And like that's all of the same color so once I start using off color it's gonna be way slower. Way slower. Which uh is not good. Is not good. But that's alright. That's alright. That's alright. Let's see. Let's see. Dang where all my purples go? Um Sorry, let's just start feeding off colors so we can pull more from the Hero Academy. And then uh, we'll pull the rest from the training camps in case I run out. 236, 10 more. Oh, uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to run out. I don't think I have that many. Um, what's it called? I don't think I have that many trainer heroes either to get them there. Uh, but also, let me know some of your uh, stories about sleep and shit like that. If you guys get crazy, crazy dreams. Like, okay, uh, let me tell you, like, my dreams, most of the time, they are very, very unrealistic. Like, I am usually, like, in space or I'm in a map in a video game since I play lots of video games. Like, I'm sure a lot of my brain produces video game related stuff. And, like, I have so many, many, like, memories of my dreams of, like, I'm in, like, a foreign, like, landscape. Like, I'm in the mountains of snow, but then you look in the sky, you can see planets out there, pretty visible. Exactly like what you would think when you are playing, like, a very, um, mo like, a modern open world video game, for example. Uh, and, uh... Yeah, it's, it's, those are predominantly my dreams, right? And most of the time, they're very action-packed, action-packed dreams. You know, maybe I'm running, maybe I'm fighting. Um, yeah, sometimes I actually get woken up because I'm trying to yell in my dream. Like, I'm genuinely trying to yell at someone, and I'll wake up, like, making a noise, because I'm trying to yell in real life, too, I guess. It's fucking crazy, you know? But yeah, that's like actually pretty. That, that's predominantly what my dreams are, honestly. Like y most people would consider them like stressful dreams. I would think. I think most people would consider them stressful dreams. But uh, for me, nah, they're just they're just dreams. You know, it's it's normal. I don't really get nightmares. I just get very intense dreams and call it a day. Fuck! Only going up one level. Oh my goodness! All right, so I'm gonna steal from training camp first. Yeah, we're going to steal from the training camp first because I want to save those food bundles for, you know, actually important stuff. I mean, I don't even know when I would use those food bundles anyway. I'd strictly just use them to like, oh, <gasps> oh, I have another idea. I'm going to use those food bundles on another episode. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. We're not spending 23,000 fucking gems to, nope. No, sir. I just got a crazy idea is I'm going to use those food bundles to do one another, another one of these episodes. Maybe, right? But I'm going to be power leveling, hopefully, some troops. Yeah. Uh, that sounds pretty nice, huh? Right? Power leveling some troops and shits? I mean, I, I mean I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Right, right. Because it, it, it depends, right? I don't... It, troops take up a lot of fucking food. Like, a lot. And, uh, especially right now, I'm trying to get to the, to the biggest benchmark of all, which is level 23, because then that turns the average heroes to, you know, nine tiles instead of the 10. And then I don't have to worry about the mana node anymore. Unless, right, unless, 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 of course, um, what's it called? Unless, uh, maybe it's like rush attack and I got to do some different calculations for those shits now. Like, right, it, it could change and vary dramatically uh depending on uh 
you know the the situation but for the most part having a level 23 mana troop would be the the main goal so that i could avoid for example right the glenda the glenda scenario you know i don't want to waste those emblems like dude it's 125 fucking emblems like that's a lot and that gets me two and a half nodes, regular nodes on, say, Sartana or whatever, or even a four star, right? It gives me like six, seven nodes on a four star. So, you know, why would I want to do that? Because I don't have a lot of money and I don't have a lot of emblems. I mean, the one, the one emblems that I do have a lot of is Sorcerer, so I'm going to fucking just shovel, shovel, shovel Sorcerer emblems into uh, Director Zuri. She'll probably get to like 15 nodes or something. That's going to be sick. I'm going to love it. Just give her a bunch of defense and whatnot. Um, oh, running low on feeders. But yeah, I think that would be a good a good use of the food bundles if and, uh, you know, if I need the, if I need to use it. Damn, what the fuck? No yellows? Yeah, if I need to use it. So we will... Uh, you will be on standby for those ones. Um, yeah, I really want to finish these kids first. You know, these are the top priority is uh, Yang Mai, Director Zuri. Not so much Sartana right now because I already have her costume match. So she's going to be a consolation prize if um, if we can get there. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine that? Like Maxing a five star. I, I mean... I guess the regular skin of the five star is a consolation prize. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, let's go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's give her some. Let's give her some. Let's go. Nice, 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 nice. I mean, she gonna need it anyways, right? She gonna need. She gonna. She gonna need to be fed anyways, cause she's my only other wizard hero that I really like right now just right now um so we'll see we'll see we'll see plus i think i have some three stars and four stars i can throw at these kids once they get to like maybe past level 60 or something maybe you know we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll, we'll play by ear you feel nice almost there almost 60 bam 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 and i got some trainer heroes which is nice. I still got a couple of those, so I can use those at my leisure. And I'm like, uh, I bet you guys always sit there and wonder, it's like, why do you just sit on these heroes for months on end? Is because I love seeing, like, I don't like, I mean, it's cool and all, right? A lot of people like that, like, gradual progression. But I don't like, and throughout my past, I've always enjoyed having, like, huge progressions in a short period of time. Huge progressions in a short period of time is, like, something I really like seeing because it's so impactful. Whereas, like, slow progression, it takes time for you to, like, look back and be like, oh, wow, like, six months ago I was here and it took me six months to finally get here. Whereas me, I'm just sitting here and it's like, all right, for three months, I'm just going to kind of stay status quo and then all of a sudden... Three months later, like, bam! Something new is about to happen. I love that shit. That's why I sit. That's why I sit on these heroes for so long is because I love having, like, big, massive growth in a short time frame. I love it. It's just fun. All right, we're running out of these two stars, which is, I guess, not good. Um... Hopefully we can, hopefully we have enough. I'm not going to lie, I feel like we might not. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, let's go. These kids, these kids. Let's do this. Nice. Let's go feed Sardana. Yep, yep. Love that. Okay. So we'll finish off the Hero Academy. We'll pull from... See, claim all. Like, why is it so hard to just add that button? Effers. <laughs> Alright, we're going to feed Scarletto. Oh, eh, I don't need to feed her yet. 
Um, okay, let's go Yangmai. I'm pretty stoked to use Yangmai. The times I've used her, I've always found her fun because of the synergy with her and some of the other heroes that I have. Oh, man. It is really, really fun. And right, like everyone compares, uh, what's I'm going to call it? Uh, heroes in a vacuum. It's like, well, compare it to your roster. You know? People will shit on one hero and another person will absolutely adore them because it just works for their team. But there are definitely some universal heroes that just maybe are uh, <laughs> not that good. Horgal being one. I mean, the problem with Horgal is he's just not good at anything, right? He's just mediocre at literally everything. His stats are subpar in terms of attack, defense, health. His damage is subpar in terms of his special. And the only benefit you get from him is the fact that he can do attack down at very fast speeds on rush attack, right? Those are really, really the big value factors on someone like Horgal. <laughs> Dude sucks. And I'm glad I never ascended him because I feel like I would be regretful of those tonics now, seeing as I have all these other great green uh, five stars. Liana, Bertilli, Atomos, Kingston. Like, you know what it is. I guess th those guys are fire. And they're so fun to use. Every time I use them, I'm always, like, having a blast. I just absolutely love it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, I might feed her some of these purples. Let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, you're not getting too much out of that. Let's just go back to the... Because we've got 17 levels left. Come on, man. We're so close. So, so close. But at the same time, as you guys know, being this close, you're also kind of far as well because... uh. It's a fucking stretch just to get to the end. Do you feel? Alright, I'm going to start using trainer heroes. Fuck it. In fact, I'm going to start using some threes. Ooh! Okay. Yes. Yes. Plus, this will give me a lot of space. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of four stars. I got a few five stars to feed. Yep, I'm feeding five stars. You heard it. Again, alright. The reason you feed five stars is because, look, you're not going to fucking use them if they're your second, third, fourth duplicate. Like, you're straight up not going to use them. I'm never going to use them. And I don't care. <laughs> Just get them out of your fucking roster space. You don't need them. All right? They're not providing any value by taking up a bunch of space. They're just sitting there looking ugly. Oh, look, we're out of food again. Or almost, but I'll just take it out now because I can. How much we got left? 213 on this guy. The other guy probably has a little uh, a little less than 250 or so around there. This is nice. This is this is real good. I'm digging it. Uh, digging it. Because <laughs> then on, uh, on uh, you know, this weekend's war. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be able to whip out some new heroes. Y'all about to see. I'm going to try to do some different uh, team comps, right? Especially because I have like a pretty decent like red team. I mean, I always have a good red team. My red team has always been stacked from the beginning. But uh, I obviously got to start giving emblems to Bolt Dust, but I have no fighter emblems since I gave them to uh, Kingston and... um, What's his face? Kingston and... Uh, how much you got left? 264. Kingston and uh, Magni. Since I use those guys often. Um, but, you know, Bolta should get some emblems. Give him some extra survivability. You know, every four-star healer, honestly. Every high-value four-star should get emblems. Just to make them competitive um, against some of the five-stars if, you, uh, if you're fighting them. But otherwise, it'd be just absolutely redonkulous during the, uh, you know, the four-star tournaments and the challenge events and all that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck, hold on. Let's go feed. Uh, let's go feed her for first. Yes, there we go. Special skill improve. We love to see that. Always love to see that. Bam, 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 bam. Making good progress. I love it. Oh shit! 
I wasn't even paying attention. I probably wasted some feeders there. Don't care. Let's just go. I'm trying to get to the finish line here. Doesn't matter how we get there because uh, by the time this by the time this video is done, I'm not even gonna remember anything about the fact that I wasted heroes or whatever, right? I'm just gonna. You guys can judge me all you want, but uh, don't care. Nash, who who? Oh come on, we're so close. Wait, how much? Okay, we got two o three. 204. Oh, perfect. Okay. I like having them equal. You guys know this. Perfect. Go back to the director. Oh, oh, oh. Not the perps. Not the perps. Oh, shit. I only have seven? Nope. I guess I'll feed purple. This is as efficient as you'll see me get. <laughs> um, let's go here. Twenty. Let's go give Scarlet some peeps. Yep. Yup. Yup. Someone, I forgot who, right? Uh, but one of y'all mentioned that I should feed, uh, feed a costume instead of like a three star for my extra, my extra one stars. And oh my god, thank you for whoever suggested that because honestly, that is super fucking smart, right? It, the costumes don't use a lot of food. They level up hella quick. And it's a good way to use your one stars. I mean, you get a lot of value out of the three stars, obviously, still, right? For three star tournaments and all that, especially right now with the rush attack three star tourney. I'm having a blast. You know, I'm almost at top 1%. I might make it, but my defense is absolutely wrecking house because, you know, I've spent a lot of time, you know, with the one stars leveling up, uh, leveling up the three stars. Yang Mai is so close. So close. Whoops. Oh, gone. Let's go. All right, level 70. Now let's see if I have any goodies for you. One, two, three. Do I have any four star? I do. I have a Marjana. Bro, look how much food a Marjana gives or how much XP. Not much. 1400, 14, 1440 technically, but still, only 1400 XP for a 5 star. Bruh! She gives like nothing! Okay, let's add Rockamouche. Um, I'll add Tetuk, Zilele. Alright, um, I want to hold off these kids until the end, so maybe around level 74 or something, because I really want to get that big push at the end since I like that shit. And you know what we do over here. We only do things we like. Only. Only. I mean, that's just a life motto. Everybody. Only do things you like. Life's too short because you could be dead tomorrow. So do what you can today. You feel? I mean, that's just how I live. One person said it was uh, a stressful way to live, but I don't think it's stressful at all. I think it's stressful to always worry about the future. Because, like, tomorrow's, you know, it's the, it's always, like, everyone in their goddamn motivational fucking speeches and shit. Speaking of which, do you guys actually get motivated on those motivational speeches? Or, or are they just like, oh, it's he makes good points, they're compelling, but, like, are you actually, like, motivated? Be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to change the world, right? I mean, I don't, I don't buy into that. I mean, it's cool and all, right? They, they're preaching some good stuff, right? They're, they're preaching some good life philosophies, maybe, or whatever. But in terms of actual motivational speakers motivating you to go out and change the world and do something with your life. Sorry, dude. Not for me. Maybe for you, but not for me. All right. We're getting close. We're getting close. We got our boy Grimmy Grim uh, that we could level up as well. I definitely need Grimster leveled up because look at his. You know, when you pair him... Especially with the costume bonus, you know, you pair him with the attack buff, you know, and then you put, uh, and then you put costume Kirill in there for the uh, defense down, and then you put in someone like Glenda, Thor, anybody like that, that can take advantage of a huge, 
like 50% uh, increase in attack, like, bruh, be hitting. You used to be straight hitting. Which would be nice. Come on. Oh, we're running out of food again. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Uh, let's go feed... Yep, let's go feed these kids. Should have enough. Perfect. There we go. And uh, let's go take away from our training cap. Yeah, I'm taking away from the training cap is because they're... Like I said, I'm not using any of the food bundles. They're just all my hard work right there, right? And plus, we have Atlantis coming up next week. So I can replenish these fools pretty quick. And it's actually really well timed this time because I should have max food by the time Atlantis comes around so I could feed all my training camps, hero academies, and all that. Seeing as uh, one time, I think it was the Magni episode, I leveled up Magni and I ran out of food and Atlantis was literally like two days away or even the day after and I could barely add anybody into the training camps and all that and so I had to wait to the next month the next time Atlantis rolled around because uh you know it was a yeah I didn't have enough food <laughs> oh man my training camps are looking bleak looking real real low makes me a little sad to see him so low because you know I spent a lot of time and patience trying to build him up to uh you know, over a thousand, fifteen hundred plus at one point, you know, in my five, five stars level up video, man, that was a journey. That was a fun one. I enjoy all these power leveling videos. They're just long. They're free. And, uh, you know, they're just fun. It'd be cool to do this one day on a live stream, but I got to get there when I get there. I mean, there's a lot of things on my plate to get done, but, uh, and I just got to do it, I guess. But, you know. Just got to get there. Get there when I get there. All right, all right. Um, Damn. I really need... Uh, I really need more of my on-color... On-color, like... Uh, feeders. Damn. Can't even get the words out now. <laughs> Alright, come on, come on, come on. We're almost there. Let's go. Um, let's go... Yeah, let's see yellows. Who? Honestly, I think who would sound kind of like that. He'd have a very high-pitched voice. He'd sound kind of goofy. I think that's what he would sound like. I also think Wukong might sound very similar to that as well. And they could be like brothers. Potentially. <laughs> I mean, you never know, right? I mean, there should be a lore for these. It'd be really fun if there was a lore. Lore nerd. Um, honestly, actually, Wukong doesn't look like he would have that kind of voice. Wukong looks like he'd kind of have like a like an anime main character kind of voice sound kind of uh yeah less goofy he'd sound very like s serious i guess i don't know that's that's the vibes i get from wukong he sound kind of serious um but not a low pitch voice for sure right not a low pitch voice you know just like a neutral a neutral tone not high pitched like whoo and not low like this you know not like that um what am i doing i'm like out of it like we're 40 something minutes into the video and i'm just out of it already it's that sleep though <laughs> let's go feed scarletto i'm digging it I get to level up so many heroes at the same time. I absolutely love it. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Um, speaking of limit breakers, by the way, I believe, and I saw this maybe on Reddit or something, that limit breaking 
either your elemental defense down people or your four star healers is probably like the best bang for your buck kind of thing. And I believe it um, because you can obviously get more value. And same thing with emblems. You always get more bang for your buck embleming the four stars compared to the five stars. Whereas, you know, like say you do one of those quests, you can level up, you can limit break two four stars. But you can't even limit break one five star as an example. And Limit Breakers, same thing. I'm going to just sit on it until I know who I want to give it to. <laughs> um, people seem to be giving it to Nordry, right? Because he has the elemental defense down. I've seen people give it to Falcon, obviously. Uh, Bold Tusk, because the red one just recently happened. Um, Kirill's probably a really good one to give it to. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, I'm running low on food and I'm running low on my training camp. How much food? Uh, 64, 53. All right, we're almost there, guys. Almost there. And I don't think I'll get to Sartana, unfortunately. But we're so close. So close. All right, I'm going to feed Yangmai to 75. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. And then these guys. Yes, sir. And then Trainer Heroes. Bam, bam, bam. One, two, three. The level four. Four. Oh, oh, oh! <coughs> Ow, that hurt. <coughs> it doesn't matter who I choose, right? Yes! 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 <laughs> Look at that. See, I finished the quest. You only get... See, I don't get it. Why would they do that? Anyways. Oh, she's done! All right, I might emblem her since I got a bunch of these, right? I might. I don't know yet. I might give her a little bit of attack, some attack boost, right? We'll see. We'll see. Fuck yes, baby. All right, let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. We're almost there. We got Zuri up next. We've already finished our boy uh, Sartana, so we're making good progress. Um... All right, level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. All right, all right, all right. Let's see how much you got. You got 48. You got 33. Oh my god, I'm sucking these guys dry. Okay, I'm just gonna just pummel all the heroes into Zuri. All of them. Reds, blues, greens. Whoops, need more food. Fuck. All right, I'll take two hundo. Seven days? All right, yeah. That should give me enough time to feed it some more. Oh my god, we're so close! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Almost there, almost there. All right, let's go. All right, add all the heroes. Not the elves, because I'll save those for the very end. Um, all right, cool. See that now? Bam, 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 bam. 75. Guess what that means? Trainer hero time. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> oh, oh, let's add a mist, a ghoulin bursty. Wait, okay, hold on. I might not need that. Hold up, hold up. Oh, so close. Let's just add a, add a red. Yes! Yes! She's done! Oh. Oh my god. 808? What the fuck? Holy shit. That's an extraordinarily high base power. Oh my god. I'll give her one emblem. Two emblems. Three emblems. Okay, three emblems. There you go. Alright, we didn't finish Sartana. I'll probably take my sweet ass time on her because I don't need her regular skin and I don't need to give her emblems yet. Oh my god. And look, right? Because she's already at 798 power. Yang Mai's already at 790. So I don't imagine it being an issue at all. But, uh,. We did it. We couldn't finish. Oh. 
Well, my phone just died. I really hope that recording saved. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it back. <laughs> and we're back. Can you? Unreal. I'm actually very, very, oh my God, that was like the most stressful 10 minutes I've ever experienced because, you know, you're in the middle of recording. You have no idea if if your recording actually is saved. But like, oh my God. <gasps> Anyways, we got to close out the video before my phone dies again. I know it's charging right now, but still. Anyways, we got Yang Mai, Director Zuri, and Sartana fully leveled up, baby. So you'll be seeing them in the war video in this uh, this weekend. I'm super stoked. So thank you for watching the video. I know it's another long one, and I appreciate y'all staying uh, or sticking in, sticking, sticking, uh, uh, tuning in, whatever, whatever. Anyways, I appreciate y'all tuning in to the to the episode of uh, Yang Mai Director Zuri Sartana Power Leveling because uh, this will be fun. Thanks for being on the journey with me. Let me know down below what you guys think about uh, emblems and your philosophy behind it. Same thing with limit breakers, I guess. And, you know, share some stupid ass uh, sleep stories or dreams or whatever the heck that you guys might get. Because you've already heard mine. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. Like, subscribe. Y'all know what it is. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.